In this video, we're going to discuss the water control behavior. And this actually came as a viewer request way back in May of this year. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to do this video up until now because there were some issues with the water control that prevented me from doing it uh, the way I kind of wanted to. Um, but I stuck with it and worked with Lee on it. And you may actually recognize this scene from the most recent um, broadcast that he did. Uh, he used my level to explain what the changes were and we'll go over that here in a moment but if you're still listening i, I finally got you your, your flooded basement as requested um, so here we are in the flooded basement and we can see that the water is already kind of at a certain level so we just need to fix what's going wrong here so we're just going to pick up our little valve and place that on the pipe and then our water goes down uh, and so we've we've solved the problem now we could actually raise it back up again I've set this button up over here if I click this button then it raises right back up uh, and so you can raise the water up you can raise the water down really at will and it doesn't necessarily need to be a valve or a button it could be a switch it could be a, um, a zone a trigger zone so you could walk into it and you know trigger an event to, to take place however it is you want to trigger it um, but let's take a look and see how that works. So I think in order to understand the water control behavior, we need to first understand water controls. Um, now we're not going to go deep diving into this. There's actually a lot to it, but just at a bare minimum, we need to understand that in order to see the water in the editor, um, then you need to have your view options ticked here in the editor and in the level to be able to see water. Otherwise you're not going to see it and it's not going to, it's not going to work so you need uh, those two checks it's under view options over here on the on the left and then we have our water control here on the right now again there's a lot of settings here i'm not going to go into every last one of these that can be a whole other video all, all by itself but in order to use the water control behavior we have to at least understand water height and this is what lee was covering in his broadcast video if you haven't seen that already is that there's two ways to control the water uh, level. There are, uh, so here you can see it's in water height is units. And then if we untick view uh, advanced settings, the water height is in meters. Um, so 75.6 meters above the, the way he explained it is the under the under the ground of the earth or whatever you want to call it is 100 meters and so this brings it up above the the ground plane and is now visible but meters is tricky to work with it doesn't really take a whole lot for it to not be visible so if i change this from 75.6 to simply 75 then it just barely breaches the surface that's 75 meters that's clearly not above a person's head right and so i find it easier to work with uh, water height uh, in units which here you can see is in zero um, and zero would be literally the ground plane right just like the um if we oops well, we don't want to do that be careful if you're using the terrain editor <laughs> i do that constantly so please be careful with that. Make sure you're back on the um, object. Um, but if we look at, say, this floor uh, panel here, you can see the, the Y unit is at zero. Same thing as the water. That's why we're seeing the water just kind of breach every, uh, every once in a while. And that's because it, there's, there's still a wave motion to it. So that's what's happening there. Okay, but it's at zero, the same as the floor. Um, so let's go back to our editor and try to be careful this time and not raise the the ground plane um actually what i should do is just put it on there so it won't do that uh, okay so water heights in units so that means that 100 would be the ceiling and anywhere in between so if we put it at 50 then it should be half the room right roughly half the room i added at 29 or 30. basically what i was trying to do is match that little water line on the wall um, so that's the easiest way I find to understand water height in relation to the water control behavior. And that's all very important to understand because the, of the settings on the uh, water control behavior. So we're going to take a look at that. So we have 
a object linked to a type of switch. Again, it doesn't really matter what kind of switch it is, but you do need a logic link. Or if you're using a trigger zone, then you can just put it right on the trigger zone and have it control from that. Uh, but we need an object nearby. And if we, uh, we want that object to be a physical object, you definitely want to make sure that it is, uh, is a mobile is yes, because otherwise it'll actually move because of the water. The water's going to affect it. So make sure it's uh, not moving around on you. And then we have the water control behavior. So we can add prompt text. So when the water is triggered, some text can appear. It could be a warning or a clue to the player or something like that. In this case, I chose not to use it. Um, here we have the action, which is lower. Our options are raise or lower. So obviously we started with water above uh, the plane. So I'm lowering it down below the plane. Um, it doesn't really matter how much you lower it. You can remember that I had it at like 29 or 30 and I, I chose to adjust it by 50. So that's more than I need, which is fine. Um, and then the adjustment speed uh, is a little tricky to get used to, but basically the higher the number, the faster it's going to be. And you can see that I have it at 0.3 and it was still fairly quick it wasn't slow at all and so you don't necessarily need to just be a high number it doesn't it's it's going to be a decimal probably um and then uh, we have our npc drowning tick box so if that's tick that clearly that means that if there's an npc in the room and the water reaches above their head they're going to drown or maybe they won't it just depends on how you've got that set up and then lastly you have a, a slot for the sound effect and you know to lower it it's essentially the same thing i've got another object over here with the same uh behaviors in reverse i'm just lowering it by the same or i'm raising it rather by the same amount at the same speed and so on and so forth um, and that's just logically to the button uh, so once you understand water control then uh or the, the water settings, I should say, then it's easy to understand water control. If you enjoyed the video or if you learned anything new, I would appreciate the like. I put, put a lot of effort over many months in order to get this done for everybody. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you're new here or if you just haven't subscribed yet, now's a great time to do so. We're uh, building our library of uh, behavior tutorials and I'd, we'd love to have you back. And if you would like a notification for when new videos are posted, just click the bell icon. That will send a notification to your YouTube uh, browser whenever a new video is posted. But thanks so much for watching all the way through. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.